Um, I recently used Prometheus in a in our deployment workflow recently, where we had a service that was going offline, and uh, they basically did all of the. Um, how do you say? Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I actually. Oh no, I hear myself. Um, so we, we used it in our CID, you know, workflow and stuff, and um, we we needed a way to 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 understand the state of our application if it's actually being monitored. So we could get this health check of our own application, but that wasn't good enough if we didn't know it was yeah, actually in the monitoring. So I have a quick slide giving an introduction to this. So there's some constraints. It was kind of a classical application, quite monolithic in a way. So only one instance could run at a time, even though we're using it in AWS, in the cloud, with Docker and so forth. And uh, we also had to ensure that the host was added to Prometheus to actually be scraped for its node. And then we checked the application health URL, queried the Prometheus API if the target was up, and then based on that, we could you know, further run the application and bring it live on the ELB in AWS, so the load balancer. So what we're really interested here is from this API, this is active targets, and there's this health check up, so we basically scrape this uh, um, API, or this, this JSON message, and it's in, we're using Ansible, so Ansible can just read this as a dictionary and you can just iterate through it in each of the active hosts and see if that is the host that the new container is deployed on. So the way it looks is it starts from the top down and it's completely automated that we have two roles. So on the right is the developer's role and then the DevOps role. And when the, the devs, you know, tag a release or the latest or whatever, this gets, um, goes down to the Ansible control host. And each of these lines in the graph, you can see that these are like Ansible tasks in, in a set of playbooks. And the, the blue one is not live yet, but the application is running. And what we want to do is we want to make sure before we switch the ELB uh, that for live traffic that the target is being scraped in Prometheus. And so if, the, if, if we're looking at the case where we're doing a database migration, so this uh, or evolution or so, the application is going to be very busy at, you know, translating the model there and everything. So we don't want to send live traffic yet. So we can actually use the Prometheus um, script data to actually have some sort of alert there if we can receive traffic or not. And it's really short. I mean, it's, it's, it's only a few lines in Ansible. And so I'm going to go to the next one. And this is an example where we use the URI uh, module in Ansible, and it can actually read the JSON. And down on the bottom, which is highlighted there, that's basically the kind of simplest view of how it reads out in the JSON body the, the, the health status and if it's up. And then the playbook just continues based on that deterministic uh, outcome. And I think that's it, is it? Yeah, that's it. So simple. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you.